Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Crafty Summer. This is actually legit, like probably like one of my first videos in this apartment. Actually, no, never mind. That's a lie. <laughs> that that was Sunday's video. And we are back with another beautiful episode of the Black Widow Challenge. As you guys can see here, Ava's gone pretty big. Like, look at that belly. She is getting so big now. And she's actually supposed to be giving birth this episode, so that's going to be really interesting. Also, too, I would like to apologize in advance for my air conditioner. <laughs> it is, like, so beyond hot, and when you live on, like, a second floor apartment building, yeah, you want that thing running, like, 24 hours a day. Otherwise, you are going to die of heat. So I am just so thankful that we actually got the, um, that we actually got in it, so, you know, it's great. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Anyways though, so our hubby here is going to be going off to work. Uh, I plan after, after Eva, you know, gives birth and stuff, I think we're going to propose to, um, to Hi, Hatch? Hi, I, I will never get that name. We're, we're just gonna call him Hey, because... <sighs> Like, we're not, like, he's not gonna be here for very long. He, he's going soon. So anyways, though, we're just kind of waiting here for now. I'm kind of actually wondering if maybe we should, is that like, maybe we should, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about maybe doing, about maybe getting like a, but like starting my little black widow basement down here and then just trying to find a place where I can actually put the staircase because like I don't want hey uh, hey 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 getting into it so I think what we're going to do is that we're going to kind of start the wall here because this is just my temp because like we're not planning like I'm planning to marry to someone rich and then we're going to kill him off and I'm going to take his house. So I don't really want like anything super duper pretty. So for now, that's just going to kind of be like our idea, our like proposed spot for where we're going to put our little house thing. <laughs> our little house thing. And then I'm going to like kind of build like an underground studio basically. And then have like where like the urns and stuff would go. But you know, first of all, you need to marry someone that's rich before I can move. So yeah. There is that. The voting is now open, but there isn't any... Oh, wait, can we vote here? Oh, we can actually vote at the nearest mailbox. That's interesting. Let's do that. So we're going to vote on the neighborhood action plan on a nap. Um, also, too, I don't want you wearing that outfit because, like, I gave you your own maturity outfit. Please wear that one instead. All right, let's see here. So we have clean energy production, eco-friendly appliances, fun-loving community, roughhousing encouraged, self-sufficiency, sharing is caring, and tech support. I'm kind of thinking what I want to go for is, I don't know, I'm actually really not like a super big fan of it. I want to go with free love, so that way we can find our next our next boyfriend. Maybe I think that'll be a fun thing to do. All right. Anyways, though, she's going to go ahead there. She's going to vote. I'm gonna have her pee like a champion because she's feeling rather confident today, from her glamorous presence. So I guess she must have got a compliment. Feeling attractive after getting a really nice compliment about my body. All right. We vibe with that there. You vowed that there, Eva. Okay, so, anyways, though, I uh, I just want her to have her baby. I'm not gonna lie. But I think though, what we're going to go ahead and actually do though, is that I think we're going to go ahead here. We're gonna send a text to Victor, and we're gonna have a chat with him and stuff because like, he's our next target. <laughs> I, I I think I've made that very clear that he's my next target and I plan on moving in on his territory so yeah I have zero problem with that idea and then 
Yeah, so I'm really hoping this works. So now she's talking to... I love her eyes, though. Like, they are just so, like... I don't know. They are such, like, a an icy blue, and I love them so much. They are so pretty. Okay, so now that we've had a talk with him... Let's just keep texting him. Let's... Actually, no, let's invite him to hang out here with us. What time does my husband get home? Oh, what time does my boyfriend get home? He gets home at around 4 p.m. So we can definitely butter up Victor. We can definitely get Victor a little buttered up. <laughs> oh no, why is he sad? Oh no, we don't want that. We're going to invite him inside, and we're going to try to help him feel better. Why is he so sad? I don't want that for my for my future for my future victim. We don't want that for you, Victor. No, no, no. We're gonna have a friendly talk. We're going to um. Let's see here. We're going to discuss interests and stuff with him. There we go. And then we're going to like gossip. He's so sad! And we're gonna try to cheer him up because like he's so sad. I don't know why he's so sad. What does he want? I surely, I'll surely miss, oh, oh, <laughs> are we already being caught up? Are we already being like, oh, I think someone's already on to us. Oh, that was embarrassing. Tell an engaging story. And then we're going to brighten his day and give him a compliment. Like, this is really like what the Black Widow Challenge is all about, is... Definitely getting these guys a little... Oh, we made him happy! We love that. Okay, so now he's happy. We're going to compliment his body because he looks real damn cute today. And then we are going to ask the cloud gaze. Yeah, let's go cloud gaze. Let's go outside. Let's go cloud gaze, gaze because that is like the best way to build up a relationship. Even though we're already friends, but we need to get a little more. Oh my goodness, look at her. She is so pretty. Like, I am really vibing with how pregnant that she is. I kind of want to buy a crib so that way I have a choice in what crib she gets. But I don't know what the gender's going to be. Like, I have, like, I have practiced some big-ass restraints trying not to, you know, like, not using MMC to figure out. Because I really love this crib. This is, like, my favorite crib of all time, is this. You know what? Screw it. We're just gonna do it. If it's a boy, it's a boy. If it's a girl, great. But this is what I want. This is cute. This is pretty. Alright, anyways, though, back to what we were doing. I'm gonna have Victor... And, and Eva kind of look above at the clouds and I am like this like yeah no like this is actually really kind of broken but it's fine it means we can start it means we can start flirting with him a little faster and we can get to the cheating a little faster and like I mean like heck you know what we could probably cheat on the wedding day just saying get caught and then you know that night he he, he gets killed it's fine everything's fine that's the plan, right? <laughs> Anyways, though, I think now we're in a good position to try and flirt. Let's see. Oh, yes, we are. We are in a position to flirt. To flirt it up. It is on. It is on. Okay. Oh my goodness, like, look at Victor. I love him. He's so cute. Okay, let's do this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of vibing with these two. 
we're going to like propose like a crazy scheme being like you know you could put you could put your minecraft bed uh, next to mine oh. <laughs> totally kidding i love and now she's going crazy. And then we're gonna compliment. Oh! He did not like that. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, invite him to feel the baby. <laughs> yes, feel the baby. Oh, yes. Yes, did you feel that baby? Did you feel him kick? I'm hoping. Oh my gosh. I don't know what this baby's gonna be. I'm really excited. <laughs> now, watch me freaking scream because I find out that it's freaking twins. Because, you know, that happens. That happens a lot on this channel. Well, I don't expect it, but I have twins. That's what happens all the time. Alright, anyways though, he needs to go home, so we're gonna send him home now. Because, like, I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Yeah, see you later, because, like, we, cause, like, we can't have your- Because like, we can't have my husband knowing that you're here. Okay, let's clean. Alright, so we're just gonna go pee, and then I need to- and I needed to clean this up because this is filthy <laughs> and it's disgusting. We, uh, yeah, no. We're not a fan. We don't vibe with that. And then I need her to go ahead and take a bath so that way we can replenish her hydration. I can only imagine how much of a nightmare this would be. If, like, you know. <laughs> um, what's the word I'm looking for? Something. I'm I'm thinking of I'm thinking of something. I just don't know what I'm thinking about. It's fine though. Everything is fine. Alrighty, so now she's just going ahead here. She is relaxing in the bathtub. Like look at that tail. I love the tail. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why this is, this is like my favorite thing, but it is. I like that like whenever she's in the bathtub and like her tail hangs out, I think it's like so beyond cute. And now I need her to go ahead here. She needs to have- no, you need leftovers. Go eat. Go eat first and then you can sleep. Because like that baby's gonna be coming any minute now. I don't want to join your group. <laughs> I was actually thinking about making my own, or, um, my own group. So I was actually thinking about creating, um, like, Sirens Club? <laughs> and then do we have like a, no we don't have a mermaid tail, but We'll do the diamond. This is open invitation. And the requirement... Where is it? <laughs> is there? Oh, mermaid. <laughs> That's what we need the most, is mermaid. You must be a mermaid. You must be a mermaid. And then we're going to choose a few different actions. So I'm gonna, so like, they're gonna be romantic to everyone. They're going to be, they're gonna kiss everyone. They're going to hug everyone. And heck, you know what? They're gonna woohoo with everyone because that's a thing too. And also, too, because you know they are mermaids and stuff, they should probably swim. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. Confirm. Huh. Called the Sirens Club Club? Oh my god, we love that. <laughs> Called uh, Sirens Club. There you go. 
And then we're gonna add up the three members. There we go, yay, we got mermaids. We got mermaids. They're all mermaids, yay, I'm so happy, okay. <laughs> I haven't done a club in like so long. Is there anything else I can do here? And then we're gonna do like any um is there like any oh any beach. There we go. Any beach. Because once again, they are mermaids. <laughs> they need water. What's that dark cloud over your head? Oh my god, I think we're being exposed already. Like, come on! Like, we're not even there yet. Like, he's not even dead. Why are we already being ruined and being exposed? I don't like that. <laughs> Bob, we might have to deal with you next. Just saying. If you're gonna be- if, if, like, you know, you're gonna be sending him messages like that. Okay, I'm gonna let her go have, like, a nap because, like, this chickadee is going to, like, pass out on me. No! Oh, he got promoted! Oh, hello there! Hey! Hey, how are you? So your wife's about- well, your girlfriend's about to have a baby. Probably in like the next like few hours or so. So can you go- yeah, go pee. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna make him like self woohoo because he's kind of bored. He's very bored. And I don't think Eva wants to, you know, have some fun right now because she's pregnant. <laughs> as he just takes, as he just walks over there naked, it's fine. Everything's fine. Totally fine. And woohoo of himself. Alright. This chickadee should be getting pregnant. I mean, this chickadee should be giving birth any minute now. So I'm just going to kind of like fast forward it here, and we're probably going to catch up once, once the baby's coming. So I'm just going to kind of let, let Hay, uh, Hay kind of do what he wants while we're waiting for the baby to come. Because she should be giving birth any minute. <laughs> I'm just gonna let her do her thing. I'm gonna let Hay do his thing. Maybe actually have like a quick meal, have like a ham and cheese or something. Yeah. Cause we're waiting for this baby to happen. <laughs> Why else we're caring for her? A lot, because like she is like ready to blow. There we go. Hopefully that feels better now. <laughs> I'm not gonna let her, like, have, like, an accident right now, because, like, she's just supposed to be having accidents. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alrighty, there we go. Everything's cleaned up. I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit more. Like, cause, like, right now we are really waiting for this baby to come. This baby is not coming. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come. Get her water to break. Come on. I'm not forcing the labor. Oh, there we go. There we go. The millet's, the millet's going away. <gasps> there we go. There's the baby. All right. We're going to go ahead here and we're going to go into more choices. We're going to have the baby at the hospital. I'm going to join her. We're just going to go alone because Hay is sleeping. Yes, I know that she is very upset. I get it. I get it. And she is, like, not dressed for the winter. <laughs> Girl, why are you dressed like that? We're... yeah, we're gonna fix that really fast because, like, you're gonna freeze. <laughs> oh, apparently that's all you're wearing. Okay, cool. Apparently you are insistent that's what you are wearing. Okay, so go check out the front desk because you need to go give birth. And you are in the middle of the ice coldness. Of like, of like ice cold.
There's the nurse. Okay, and it looks like that Crystal Coleman is going to be the one that's going to be giving us, that, that's going to be helping us with the birthing. So now we just gotta wait. So now we checked it at the front desk. Oh my goodness, this is, this is like the worst part, is having to wait. Like, come on, like this girl is like literally pushing a watermelon out of her. We need to go. <laughs> Let's go do it again, just to be sure. Ugh, I think this is, this is like the worst part. There we go! We did it, we got it, we got it. We're, we're going in. We're going in to go have the birth. Oh my goodness. Ah! Let's see what we get. I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh my the Already <laughs> ah! Oh, that's not supposed to be out. Come on. Can't let us have the fur. <laughs> it was like this is slightly terrifying. She's like, is, is it supposed to be doing that there, Doctor? Oh, it's a boy! Okay, so we're gonna name him... Hmm... I think we're gonna name him Kale. Kale Sanchez. Alright, that's it! It's only a boy. It's the Nobu! Go see your Nobu! Oh my goodness, look at him! Oh, <laughs> We love that for, uh, for, for Eva. Eva now has her first child. So anyways, there, guys, that is the end of this episode. We, uh, we had our baby. And I hope you guys come back for another episode of the Black Willow Challenge next week. Anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Also as well, leave a comment. And I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> Bye there, guys.